Cultural Sobbies. This is Trippy from Cultural Sobby. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, so for today, I will be teaching you how to make your own cooling bug bite salve. So if this is something that you'd want to learn about, please keep watching. Alright, so for today, you will need a glass heat safe container, a measuring spoon or a spoon, your stainless steel stirrer or your stainless steel chopstick. Because we are creating salt, you gotta have your beeswax pellets. You will also need a carrier oil. For today, I will be using Cedar Alley's Camellia Oil, a tin container or a glass container. For the oils, you will be needing Eucalyptus Globulus, Peppermint Oil, Helichrysum. If you don't have Helichrysum, that's fine. You can use lavender oil. And finally, you will need your geranium oil. Alright, so let's start with the DIY. With your heat safe glass container, get your beeswax pellets. I prefer using white beeswax pellets. And you will be needing one part of your beeswax pellets. Remember, when you're making a bomb, you need equal proportions of your beeswax pellet, your carrier oil, and your soft wax or hard wax. But since we are making a salt, we need a little softer consistency. That's why we only need one part of your beeswax pellets. Remember to use glass heat safe container because we will be microwaving the ingredients, excluding the essential oils because your microwave will destroy the therapeutic benefits of your essential oils. So make sure to use a glass heat safe container and then put in three parts of your carrier oil. For today, I have decided to use camellia oil because this is great for the skin. You can also use jojoba oil, you can also use rosehip oil, it doesn't matter. So three parts of your carrier oil. Just to make the final product's consistency a little softer, a little more spreadable than the balm. I use a regular tablespoon for this recipe. Then let's pop this in the microwave for 10 second interval so that everything is melted before we add in the essential oils. So after melting the beeswax and the oil combined together fully, you just have to add your oil. So I will add 3 drops of eucalyptus. Be sure to only use a metal stirrer because you are dealing with pure essential oils. Five drops of your peppermint. Peppermint and eucalyptus provides your skin that cooling effect to relieve any itching of those bug bites. Geranium oil is great for skin healing, so six drops of this. Finally, you will need your helichrysum. Again, if you don't have helichrysum, it's fine. You can use lavender oil. Lavender oil is also great for skin healing and skin regeneration. So, three drops of this. Alright, it now smells so minty and herby. Whenever you're dealing with beeswax or any wax or butters, be sure to work fast while they are in liquid form. Pour it in your metal container. There you go. And then, just pop it in the fridge for 15 minutes. And let's wait for it to harden. So let me just pop it in the fridge and show you the final outcome once it's solid. For this recipe, you can also use oils like lemongrass, citronella, or tea tree oil because those oils are effective in repelling bugs. So it's great to be used in making your own bug bite salve. So I already popped this in the freezer. You can see that it's pretty solid. And it smells so good. So let me just try it on my skin. It smells so good and it's very, very smooth. It's not oily, it's not greasy, so that's really great. 
I don't really have a bug bite right now, but I just want to feel it on my skin. It's very smooth. It feels luxurious. And it smells amazing. You can pop it in the fridge or you can pop it in the freezer. Of course, it's faster when you pop it in the freezer. I only spent about 5 minutes to make this cool and harden the product. And it smells so good. With this consistency, you can also use deodorant stick containers. Or you can also use lip balm containers. So it's faster for you to apply it on your skin and it's great for on-the-go application. Anyway guys, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell button for you to be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you've enjoyed it so much, don't forget to share this on your Facebook wall to let your friends know how they can make their own cooling bug bite salve. And I hope to see you in my next DIY video. Bye!